Thank you all for joining us this evening. I'd like to welcome you to our pinning ceremony for our healthcare professionals. Tonight we'll be pinning certified nurse assistants, home health aides, PCAs, and our ESOL for healthcare course. Again, thank you for joining us, and we're going to, to move things right along tonight. Um, we've got some yummy, delicious food waiting for you when you're finished, so let's get things started. Good evening, everyone. My name is Wendy Sanford, and I'm the program coordinator for the nursing assistant program here at BCC. I'd like to thank you all for coming. The students have worked extremely hard to accomplish this and appreciate everyone who has come out to help them. I want to take the time to thank all the family and friends that have supported the students throughout the program. The schedules were demanding, fast paced, and they could not have succeeded without the support of so many family and friends. Babysitting, cleaning, cooking meals, thank you. To all of our CNA students, um, I know entering the first few days of class, some of you were unsure if this was the right path for you, if you could handle the demands of the program. Well, I'm here to tell you, you all made the right choice coming to BCC and deciding to be part of the healthcare field. You have picked a very rewarding, self-gratifying field of work. You may not be rich as most see it, but you'll be rich in the hugs, prayers, smiles, and the many thank yous you will receive throughout the days. To see the difference that you will make in a person's life, a patient's life, is amazing and is very rewarding. Some of you here in the audience may not know what a CNA actually does or anybody in the healthcare profession actually does. So I'd like to read a poem that I feel describes this profession to a T. Um, it really shows what these students will be out doing daily um, for home health aides, PCAs, CNAs, this is what they do day in and day out. Who are you to refer to us as only a CNA? We are the ones who wash and dress our patients for the day. We are the ones who take the time to listen to them speak. We listen about their lifetime in a 40 hour week. We also give our hands to hold when someone's feeling scared. It's not easy being a patient. You're never quite prepared. We take the time to listen by lending both our ears. We listen to their worries or how they've spent their years. Our arms were made to reach and even wrap around to give our patients hugs when they're feeling a little down. We help our patients do the things they used to do on their own. Everyone needs some help, even when we're grown. So who are you to refer to us as only a CNA? We do our best to meet their needs within our working day. We chose to do this job. The job did not choose us. We sympathize, we empathize, compassion is a must. We try to keep them comfortable and free from any fear. We sit along beside them when that time is near. We hold their hand, stroke their hair, just making sure they know. They're not alone and aid is there. It's okay for them to go. We're not only CNAs, home health aides, or PCAs. We're angels in disguise. I'm sure every one of the students has a story. Um, every one of you that are celebrating tonight have at least one of stories, one or two stories you could tell about the clinical experience, about some of you already have jobs um, that could speak of your care and your profession already. And you'll have hundreds more of those stories as you progress throughout your career and the many, many lives that you're gonna touch as you're caring for your residents. Some residents do not have visiting family or friends. You are now their family and friend. Someone they can see um, daily and they depend on seeing. They might be having a bad day and your smile may have brightened it. Um, and you will remember that moment forever. One bit of advice that we'd, lo we'd like to give you is never lose your compassion for caring. Um, so this program would not be possible without our dedicated instructors that work so very hard to educate these students. 
They go above and beyond every day, and the demands of some of the schedules these past few semesters have put them to their max. Um, they're always willing to help, um, and the students always have fantastic things to say about them. So I'd like to take a moment to introduce our three instructors. We have Suzanne Parent. Judy Andrade. And Sue Sylvia. And also this semester, we've had um, the help of um, having the program have assistance by Nicole Picard. Like I said, I can't say enough about these people, and I have been blessed to work with such a great group of people. Um, some weeks, I didn't know how I could make it without them. Um, to all of our students, you are now the nuts and bolts of the healthcare. You are the foundation to any success that any facility will have. Be proud to say I'm a graduate from BCC whenever anyone asks you what you do. Myself and the Center of Workforce and the Community Education and the staff wish you success in all you do and congratulate you on your accomplishment. Folks, I'd like to introduce other members who are joining us tonight from the BCC um, family. Back there we have, let's see, it's going to be hard to do, turn completely around. Um, we have Joyce Brennan, who is our VP of Communications. The Vice President for Workforce um, Development, Paul Vigent. Way back on this side, we have... Uh, Larry and Barbara, who are the instructors for the ESOL course. And we also have uh, the president of the college, um, Jack Spraga. At this time, if we could have a couple of students come up. Um, uh, Amarald Cardoza and Cheyenne Contre. She's going first. She's going first. Okay. <laughs> I've been told she's going first. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Well. Um, well, first of all, I want to thank everybody that made it possible for us to be here today. I want to thank Nikki. I want to thank Wendy. I want to thank my instructor, Susan, Sue, and Judy, for making it possible and be patient with us, because it was not easy. <laughs> so it was during this weeks that we've been spent together, we made it great friends and great colleagues, and they opened opportunity for many, many different pages in our life. It was not easy, but nothing is impossible. It taught us there is nothing impossible unless we don't want to go forward with it. It was an amazing experience, and we learned so much, so much things that I didn't know it was possible for me to learn. I didn't know I had in me, and I'm pretty sure a lot of us didn't thought it was possible for us to make it. So. Thank you, everybody, and I hope success for all of us. All right, first off, I want to say, I want everybody to give a round of applause to my teacher, Sue. She was the best. She was amazing. And everybody else that helped us get to where we're leading to in life now. This program was an amazing experience for all day one. I must say it was the very biggest day, getting to know one another, having to work with each other, per performing the skills, and as the weeks went by, we all started to form some kind of relationship with one another. For some of us, this is just the beginning to a new career. To others, this was just a stepping stone for the next step to another health career choice. Furthermore, the clinical experience with the residents was a real feel of what we were to expect in the field of becoming a CNA. 
It was an honor to work with the residents. We got to feel the connection you would tend to build up while working with the residents. For some of us, it was a little emotional leaving them towards the end. It was a great experience. We all got to see and learn a lot from the CNAs in, at the facility. In conclusion, the CNA program was an overall great experience, and I can't believe we all did it. And this is the end. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> Thank you to both our students. Coming up here is not easy, so it's, it's great when we can have students come up and speak. Um, at this time, we'd like to have President Sprague come up to address the graduates. Well, thank you, Nikki, and good evening, everyone. Welcome. It's always a great occasion as we celebrate student success, our most important project, product, our most important product here at BCC. Um, I want to extend our congratulations to the graduates uh, and a word of warning as well. On the one hand, congratulations, but I hope that you will continue to uh, pursue your academic pursuits and continue on the pathways of uh, academe. There are plenty of other places uh, on that ladder for you to go and occupy, uh, and you'll be all the benefit uh, for it. Uh, it's a great field to be in and uh, the general field of health care and you feel so good about what you do and uh, the reward is terrific when you see the uh, uh, gratitude in the faces of the people that you work with. I want to thank the faculty and staff, uh, and the wonderful people that supported you as you went through uh, this program. I want to thank uh, the, fa the families and the loved ones and all of the people that supported uh, our graduates, it wasn't easy. I'm sure they tested your patience, but uh, uh, they stuck to it, and uh, uh, they, made it, uh, they made a great success of it. I want to also say to the graduates, they didn't realize what they, uh, when they were doing this, but they served as role models for our uh, people, at other people at the college. Uh, there are little ones here tonight that will never forget this night. And it's, uh, you, uh, your accomplishment has struck the, uh, for them the importance of what you've done. And it's very important. Uh, and it's a great image and a great um, uh, demonstration that you provided for them. And something they won't forget. So you take that with you wherever you go. I want you to lastly, I just want to point out that you always have a home here at BCC. You're part of our BCC family. And any, uh, in addition to any uh, academic training that you go through, we're always here to help you. Our resources are available for you. Okay? Life is an age of lifelong learning, so uh, we're going to be here a long time for you, and uh, you're going to need it as, as the world changes. So thank you very much. Good luck and congratulations. We had another member of our BCC um, family that was hiding in the corner who I missed. We have our Vice President of Human Resources, Lisa Tarantino, with us tonight as well. <laughs> if I could ask Raymond Moore and Nicole Thomas to come up to say a few words. My mom was a CNA. Sorry. She ended up having an incident at work. Went to the hospital and came up with stage four lung cancer. I was my mother's CNA after that, well, her PCA. I was there all the time. All of her hospice nurses told me that I should be a CNA, that I should get into the field. Instead, life had other plans, but I ended up making it to the program. Got confused, um, and ended up coming back after that. If it wasn't for the teachers or the instructors or the professors of this program, I would not be here right now. They didn't push me, but they guided me to a better way of life. 
the way I want to live life. Um, now, I stand before you, I have a job working at the Rainham Life Care Center as a CNA. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Again, I couldn't do this for anybody. If it, was, if it wasn't for my class, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Everybody that supported me to push through, that told me to stop and keep going, I did. So, um, thankfully for this program, I've moved forward to a brighter future and a better life. Um, yeah, so, Ray, you go. <laughs> Well, uh, a little background about myself. I originally enrolled at Rhode Island College as a biology major, uh, not really knowing exactly what it was I wanted to be when I grew up, but, uh, but knowing that my interest was in life sciences and that bio would give me a good foundation while I sort of figured out what it was I wanted to do. Uh, after a year, I decided that a more corporate career might be something I wanted to do, so I changed my area of study to management and eventually graduated from Rick with a Bachelor of Science in General Management. Uh, afterwards, I had some success as a cabinet maker, a high school wrestling coach and referee, and a manager for my father's landscaping company. But I had difficulty man uh, securing that, that corporate job that I, that I thought I really wanted. Um, uh, some years later, and after a little soul searching, I found myself in the right place at the right time, uh, interviewing with Nicole Picard and filling out my BCC application. Uh, now, three months later, I've received top-notch career training in a growing industry, four certificates, I've been on five interviews, three of which have offered me a job on the spot, and I have accepted uh, a position in one of the largest nursing facilities in Massachusetts. and I've built a vast network of like-minded individuals and relationships that will last the rest of my life. Uh, and I will be forever grateful for this opportunity given to me by Bristol Community College and its staff. So thank you, BCC. <laughs> but what I really want to do with my time up here is to just speak for a few minutes longer about what a great program this really is and to express my gratitude for this program and for my instructors, Suzanne, Judy, Wendy, and Sue. Uh, because I really, I couldn't see myself being more prepared for, for a career in healthcare if it weren't for these people in this program. Uh, it would be really easy to just stand up here and say, you know, this, this program is really great and the staff are so supportive. But this CNA program really is great. And these instructors are the most knowledgeable, supportive, and invested educators that I've had the privilege of learning from. Um, Information was not simply relayed to us in order to pass a state test or to land a job. Our instructors prepared us to, uh, to excel in our careers as healthcare providers. Suzanne and Judy in particular really shaped our understanding of the task we were about to take on. They not only taught us how to give care to a patient or resident, they taught us how to give care with compassion. Uh, and to not just look upon our nursing duties the way we would a job, but rather as a service to humankind. Uh, I think an education like that is becoming increasingly hard to come across these days, where an individual can receive such effective career training uh, in a supportive environment where you are coached every step of the way from class registration to securing a re uh, rewarding and fulfilling career. Uh, so to anyone I say, uh, to anyone who may be unhappy or feels unfulfilled in their career, I say consider a career change and possibly consider a career in nursing and definitely consider uh, beginning your education at BCC. Um, to Suzanne, Judy, Wendy, Sue, and my classmates, I say thank you. I miss our time together already. And a big shout out to Nicole Picard. Thank you guys. Well, thank you very much to both of you for coming up and sharing that. Um, and you know, we have a testimonial there that we could probably just print right off and marketing forever. <laughs>
Um, folks, one of the things that makes tonight a little bit uh, more special for us is that many of the students that are coming through the program and are sitting here tonight came through with the help of um, some training resources. And we're very fortunate tonight to have um, a gentleman with us who can come up and speak to you directly about the train program that the students went through. So at this time, I'd like to call up Jeff for Karen. My last name is not that easy to say, so I, I get confused sometimes. Um, so thank you so much for having me. Congratulations to everybody. Um, so uh, what was mentioned was <clears throat> I coordinate uh, this uh, grant that was that had made possible um, training for a little more than 30 students in in uh, over the past few months um, and. The Department of Higher Education was really happy to be able to do this work um, because it was a, a great partnership with BCC. Uh, we have partnerships with other community colleges as well. Um, and of course, I'm here, so I would say BCC is the best partnership. Um, and, uh, and it was, like I said, the money was uh, available to help, um, help folks reconnect with the, with the workforce and find a good career in a growing industry. And I feel like healthcare is really a good career in a growing industry. Um, so uh, I, you know, I'm happy to be up here and talk about this, but I also just wanna say congratulations to all of you who are, are completing your certificate. Um, this was uh, no small challenge, I'm sure that you all felt. Uh, this was a really big accomplishment. I really liked the poem at the beginning of the program too, because you have to remember that you're not just a CNA, that you are really somebody who is, um, quite frankly, an angel for some folks. Um, myself, you know, my mother, uh, in the probably last five years or so of her life, she had home health aides, she had CNAs when she was in the hospital too, and it was some of the people that we got to know the best and that she connected with the most. So these are, your job is very important. Um, I want to, uh, to also just acknowledge, I keep looking over here, but I you know you guys, are, you're, you're okay too. Um, I want to acknowledge your courage, actually. I just, I want to, uh, to just talk about that for a minute because what you did in changing your career and taking a chance and doing something different really took a lot of courage. Um, I know it might have taken some thought, some planning, but congratulations to you for taking that first big step. And I don't think we pay attention to that enough, is that this takes a lot of guts to be able to do this. Um, to be able to go back to school, to put your life on hold, to organize dinners and pickups and school and after school and who's picking up and how much longer and how much homework do I have and all of that stuff. That takes a lot of courage. So congratulations on that. Um, I also just want you to think a little bit more about this not being the step you took, but the first step that you take uh, in continuing your education. Um, particularly in healthcare, there's any number of roles that you can keep moving into with further education, new certificates, associate degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and on and on. Uh, so there's, you know, getting into healthcare, there's a whole career path that is laid out before you. So I want you to think of this as your first step and not your only step. Um, you know, BCC is now part of your community. And, uh, and you're part of BCC. Uh, I know that if you enroll here again, the programs that you just finished, you get six credits if you enroll again. And everyone's like, yeah, six credits, you know, that's nice. That's $1,000 so that you'd get credit toward the next program that you take. So keep that in mind and don't stop learning. Um, so just congratulations to everyone. Thanks for having me tonight. Uh, and uh, I look forward to great things from all of you. Thank you, Jeff. Um, now we're gonna have uh, a few students come up. We have Allison Medeiros, Elinette Gonzalez, and Matthew Mills. Okay. 
I'm Taylor. <laughs> um, I'll never forget my first day of class. Uh, I was nervous, I was petrified, I was ready like five hours before. Uh, we all came in and we sat in our chairs with that awkward like, oh, I don't want to sit next to you, but I don't want to sit too far away. Uh, and there were six of us and I'm pretty sure we were all waiting, like five more people come in and they didn't and we were like, oh, this is really awkward, it's a really small class, I was freaking out. How embarrassing are all my mistakes gonna be when I mess up? Um, but after the next few classes, I quickly realized it wasn't just I anymore, it was all of us. And we were all petrified of this class and we were all scared of the change that was to come. Uh, will we pass our first quiz, our first test? Can we really master CPR? What the heck is a gate belt? I don't know what that is. We became close as we had to change each other's bedpans and awkwardly move each other from beds into wheelchairs and other awkward positions. Um, but being in such a small class and probably the closest and smallest I've ever been in was so beneficial. Um, things that I lacked in, my other classmates knew in the back of their hand and they were able to help aid. And not only did we have the aid of each other, but we had an amazing instructor, Sue. Uh, she was an outstanding teacher and she was there to guide the way and make everything so easy for us. Uh, when we had difficulties, she would spend extra time helping us with them and talking about it until we got it right. And she gave us all the confidence that was there, that was not there when we came into class, and the strength to keep pushing. Not only did this program help me develop the skills and knowledge I need, but it definitely gave me the courage and the confidence to succeed. Uh, whether we end up moving up the ladder in nursing or enter a different part of our lives, um, I'll always have this class, and no longer my classmates, but my friends, uh, to look back on and it sure takes a special kind of person to, see, to be a CNA and I believe that myself and all of us are one of them and congrats to my friends and my peers and all of us for completing this program. Uh, you should be proud and I wish everyone the best of luck. Good evening everyone. I'd honestly like to thank all of you for coming here tonight. So. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to level with you. Neither Ellie, my close friend, nor I have prepared for this speech. And so I really believe that not preparing for this speech really conveys what this experience was actually like. And so coming into this class, none of us really knew what to expect. We all had entirely different expectations. I'm a biomedical science major at the University of New Hampshire, and so I thought that being a CNA would be extremely easy. Some of us didn't really have any educational background behind us, and so we thought it might be challenging. So, with those expectations aside, our professors, well, not really professors, but instructors, they definitely influenced us a lot. Firstly, I'd like to thank Suzanne. She really instilled a lot in us. So as we got sidetracked <laughs> a lot, uh, those sidetracks meant a lot more than the material that we had read in the books. The material in the books was such black and white, but Suzanne gave us this colorful picture of what it was like to be a nurse aide. So she taught us what it was like to really care for our residents and to really know that they're not just a statistic they are more than that. They're a human being with feelings, loved ones, and so much more. That, I honestly can say, is one of the most fundamental, really, pillars to being a nurse's aide. Judy, though, she taught us our step-by-step -step procedures while also being extremely, really funny throughout the entire thing. She was a great time. And she taught us really to just enjoy our job. Like, you, you, sometimes, as being a nurse's aide, there are some crazy things that happen. And you really, you gotta take pride in those moments. You really gotta laugh. You have to enjoy yourself and take time for yourself throughout the entire thing. With that said, both of our instructors, Judy and Suzanne, were phenomenal. They taught us so much more than just simply reading a book. So, with that said, uh, we have so many plans for the future. Now, from, being, from having expectations like Ellie and Sam as being an LPN or an RN, 
we have really progressed. We're starting our first, this is our first step in really progressing in our career. Whether this is our first or last, we have so much more room to grow. This gives us a foundation for everything that we can do from here. Personally, I plan to pursue my medical degree in psychiatry to do research on mood disorders and just mental health. So having this foundation really gives us an understanding of what it's going to be like in the future and really just how to treat our residents, how to give them a quality life that they have left. It means so much, it's so rewarding. It really is. So with that said, I'd like to thank all of you again for coming here and experiencing this milestone with us. I guess that's really all I have to say, so I'll leave it to Ellie. Can I get a stool step? Can I get a stool step? They can see me? You guys can see me? <laughs> I'm little, but I got strength, okay? Um, you want? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Be kind of weird, eye to eye to the front of it, you know? <laughs> Um, there's a lot I can say about this course, honestly. Um, I valued every single moment. I've been a PCA for about seven years, and coming into the CNA field, honestly, a lot of it was a lot of what I was used to. Um, obviously, differences is being licensed. Um, wow, my classmates. We started off, I think, at seven, and we finished off at four. <laughs> so I really got to know them a lot personally and we're not all just smiles behind this smile there's a lot of pain and tears and a lot of different backgrounds so definitely before we judge people you really need to get to know them um, there's this one woman phenomenal in my class uh, Joanne she came here as a PCA <laughs> And she thought that she wasn't doing anything for herself. She said, I'm just here to take the course and get education. Now, Joanne's a little older. She's not old, but she is older compared to you know, some of us that were in the class. And she was doing it with a daughter who is handicapped. And every day this woman came in and she tried and she tried and testing was so hard for her because English is not her primary language. But this woman never gave up. She was here every single day, and she just never gave up. And honestly, I admire that woman so much. So <laughs> being a PCA is just not a PCA behind everything. Another girl in our class, she had a death in the family, and I was like, oh, no, she's not coming back. And sure enough, the next day, she came because she wanted this. We have to want our fields. We have to want what we want in life. This is not just here, you're gonna be a CNA today or you're gonna be a doctor today. Take it or leave it. You have to love what you do. I love being a PCA and my consumer may require in the future more care and taking the CNA course, I wanna be prepared because I wanna be there for her. That's how much I love being a PCA. So you guys being a PCA, you are part of the family. You really are. So round of applause on the hat. <laughs> You are. My instructors, Judy, Judy Patuti, honestly, the, this woman, I will follow her until she needs me one day because this woman was just smiles and full of life. And you see her hair all colored, but this woman is flaming fireballs. Like, she's amazing. And Suzanne, th this woman is so, she has so much compassion and care and she just loves everybody, but look at her the wrong way and oh my God, she would spark at you and no, put your head in the book and okay. But all of them, all of our teachers, I'm very, very grateful. My daughter's crying, I'm a single mother of a two year old and I stand here proud saying I did it. I'm a CNA. must be the easiest emceeing I've done yet. Everybody's just taking it over and doing a great job. If I could have everyone who um, spoke stand up for a minute. Thanks, folks.
Give a nice round of applause to all everyone. So I think we are at the point of presenting the certificates. So if we could have um, Dr. Sprager and Paul and the instructors and Nikki right up front. I don't think I'm forgetting anybody. Paul goes for us turning our back to them. Yeah. We have to turn this way so we can just, just kind of sideways. <laughs> and I was told to um, for everyone to be careful with Walking across, there is a bit of a yeah, lip there. Yeah. Where are we standing? Where are we going? Going on this side. On this side. I'll do. Um, I'll do the PCA first. Of who's not here, right? Okay. Oh, she's here, though, but she's a CNA, too. That's why I have okay. Okay, we'd like to recognize our uh, personal care attendants first. If we could have Nicole Alves. Is there anyone in the audience who didn't make it up to the stage who is a graduate? Andrea Aruda. Dustin Bees. Best. Best. You're giving them the wrong thing. Oh no. It's a PCS. Woo -woo. Oh, she's one too. Okay. Emma Cleveland. We'll get it by the end, I promise. <laughs> Veronica Marquez. Jamie is here. <laughs> Jamie Oliveira. Israel Rivera. Now we'll be recognizing our CNAs. Megan Adams. Mm -hmm. 
Taylor Ainsworth. Catherine Alves. Andrea Aruda. No, Michael. Kiana. Yeah, Kiana's here, but she's got to get in line. Kiana Barrows. Grace Margaret Brokey. Grace, can I give it a flash to the crowd? There we go. Yeah, Taylor Brandio. Taylor Brandio. Several of our students tonight um, had a perfect attendance while they were in class, um, were never late, and never came back from lunch late. So we'd like to recognize them as we go through. And one, the first one tonight who has reached that is Caitlin Burke. Elizabeth Braga. Sheena Contras. Amarildi Cardozo. Amarildi Cardozo. Lorianda Cardoza. Thomas Conlon. Jennifer Shazan. Sorry, she just came up on the stage. Asira, I don't know if she's here. Is Asira here? Yeah. Asira D. Almeida. Kendra DeMello. Gabriella Ferrucci, also attendance award winner. Tierra Floyd. Eliana Gonzalez with attendance. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Another perfect attendance, Natasha Gonzalez. Madalena Lope Silva. Yeah. 
Taylor Malou. Recognized for attendance as well, Gladys Mina. No, Richard. Allison is here. Allison Medeiros. Matthew Mills. Robin Ministeri. Raymond Moore, recognized for attendance as well. Amy Arbeda. I can read that. I'm just making sure they can't. Sorry. <laughs> Caitlin Pereira. Tiana Puskinza. <laughs> Samantha Ramos. Also perfect attendance. Aviana Reese. Alice. Is Alice here? No, no, Alice. Joanna. Joanna Rosa. No, Coralius. No, Krista. No, Cheryl. Savannah is there. Savannah Soares. Nicole Talbot. <laughs> Nicole Thomas <laughs> with perfect attendance. Marian Timas. No Christopher. No Haley. Those are the last two. Deanna Turner. Perfect attendance. Gloria Williams, perfect attendance. And next, we're going to recognize our health care for our adult learner class.
Larry, if you could just, is, is this person? Soraya Acosta. Claza no. Cardoza. Janine Cherry. Jean Danger. Vanya De Rosa. Yes. I'm God Farag. Charmaine John. Carla, yes. Carla Montero. Margarita Montaro. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enrique Sylvia. No. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And Sue Ellen Soares. Folks, a round of applause for tonight's graduates. <laughs> Folks, I'd also like to um, recognize that this is Nurses Week. So um, having said that, if I could ask our three fantastic instructors and Wendy to come up, please. And 
on behalf of all of the students and everyone at the Center for Workforce and Community Education, we want to thank them for their hard work. <laughs> And for those of you who don't know this, um, President Spraga is retiring this year. And so if we could ask President Spraga to come up as well. We've decided that after all these years of President Spraga coming to our, our pinning ceremony that we would like to actually make him an honorary CNA. My pleasure to, uh, to award President Spraga his certificate. Oh, thank you. And Wendy much. is going to pin you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you also get your very own stuff. Folks, we're going to have Wendy um, Sanford, who, as you know, is our esteemed coordinator for the program, um, is going to give you closing remarks. Thank you. It's always a joy to see where the students come from when they enter the first day of our classes to the end of our program. Um, some of them you think, mm, maybe they'll be a good CNA, maybe they won't. And at the end, we're like, wow, they really are going to be amazing. And I can say every one of the students up here today are going to be amazing CNAs. And anybody that comes into their care are going to be in very, very good hands. Um, and again, thanks to the instructors for teaching them all the, the skills that they need to know. Um, it's amazing to be part of this experience and to be part of the BCC family and watch the growth of these students. We hope to see you all back. Um, and come visit us. I also would like to give a special thank you to Nicole Picard. She has been instrumental this semester in dealing with multiple applications. Um, as we said, some of the program was grant funded, so there was a lot of applications, there was a lot of paperwork, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be done, um, a lot of organization, and she did an amazing, phenomenal job with that of keeping track of the students, um, keeping a lot of stuff in check for us. So we thank her, because a lot couldn't have been accomplished this semester without Nicole's hard work. So thank you, Nicole. So thank you again for coming, and we'd like to thank everybody. Also in the back, I would like to recognize our director of the Taunton Center, Gloria Sadler. She's also here with us. So thank you all for coming. Family and friends, keep encouraging these students to keep going on. They all have what it takes to keep moving. So keep going. We have refreshments, um, so come enjoy the refreshments with us. If we could have the graduates stand for one more applaud, please. <laughs>